Yeah, what's going on, y'all? Thank you for coming to my channel. My name is Wally, and you are now tuning to PBH TV. Hey, this the King of Yo, we back with some more Law & Order for y'all, baby. This right here got to do with a 400-pound rapper trying to run from 12, baby. How are you 400 pounds trying to run? Where are you running to? There's nowhere safe for you to run. So, yo, with that being said, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, and also hit the notification bell. Let's go. Put your hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. On May 5th, 2021, police officers in Orange County got a tip about a car that seemed to be involved in a live drug deal near a school. They received a description of the suspicious vehicle. While they were on alert, the officers spotted the car in question. Passion moving around a lot. Jerking around. <laughs> I don't care who you are. When the police pull you over, you can be innocent. You still feel guilty. Hey, doing? Good. You roll all the way down. During the traffic stop, officers asked the passenger for identification, unaware that he was a violent felon and local rapper named Big Wacko. He is known for rapping about selling drugs and even created an album called Crack School. What? I'm telling you, I gotta be careful with these names y'all use. They will always use all this against you, baby. Where he instructs his fans on how to sell drugs and evade the police. I highly doubt that's what he's doing on there. I'm sure he's just boasting about his past experiences. Homeboy really reached. I, he don't mean that. He's He's nervous though. Look how he's shaking. Here you go. Okay, I'll write it down. Where y'all headed to? What's that? Where is old? That's where y'all headed to. I'll just be y'all, sir. Okay. Read me your number off there. Uh, 36, 23. Hold on. There's a yeah. What's the what's the letter first? Oh, w six two three six two three dash five two four five two four ninety six ninety six twenty twenty six dash two six dash two. Yes, sir. All right. Crazy thing is, he's the passenger. They grilling the passenger. That's like that hardly ever really happens. But like they said, they they own him. They was already on him from a while ago. <laughs> That's how he should know that it's, it's over, fam. Yeah, he's nervous. He's trying to keep himself cool. You don't even want to look at the cops or talk to them. How long you had it? Friday. Friday? Right on. <clears throat> okay, cool. What year is it? Is it a studio? Right over here on the No, I said what year is it? Oh, it's uh, 07. 07? Right on. I mean, uh, last weekend, right? The funny thing is that before they pull you over, they already did a search on you, on the plates. They know what year it is. They know if it's insured or not, if it's registered or not. They know all the questions they're asking you as far as the car pertains. They know the answers to. It's a weird tactic they do. Who's that? What's the shit called? What's the club down here? Right here? Not this one. Up on the road. Right yeah. No, not the one where they had to fight night. Like, it's the one way down. It's like an half hour. <laughs> you trying to spark up a fake combo. Hey, John. He looked nervous, though. Like, he looked guilty. But I'm sure, like they said, he tried to run from the officers after dropping the G-U-N. You know what I mean? If you ask me right now, in his mind, he's going crazy right now. You understand me? He's spiraling right now. But he's trying to see when he can make his move to at least run and discard it, you know? Which I highly doubt. At 400 pounds, you ain't running nowhere. Hi, <laughs> You said, uh, right? Is that? Do me a favor, step out for me, step back here for me. 
Just right in the back. Step around the back of you, Carmen. You try to figure yeah, out how you're going to do it. What's that? No. See, my, my whole thing is this, and this got nothing to do with him, right? But a lot of people who swear they gangsters, swear they the toughest of them all. When this happens and they get pulled over, it's always, no, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, your honor. No, your honor. All that gangster stuff, out the window. Okay. Okay. Stretch your legs. Oh, that's where you got it. Mike, you dropped a gun. You dropped a gun. Hey, you running wild slow. Please stop getting the ground. And how Please the officer the can't get him? Please stop getting the ground. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> he said, tease him, Mike. Put your hands on your back. Put your hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. Seriously, what the fuck are you doing? Where was he running to? That, he, he looked like he can't even climb anything. <laughs> <laughs> Go get the car. Yeah, can you get, get your PR car? Yeah, we can. <laughs> Hey yo! Why the cameraman? Fo oh, I forgot. It's not the cameraman. This is body cam. My bad. Charlie six nine secure one. What is Charlie six here in a section of location? Give me a cuff. Center lane. Yeah. And we get with Calico, I think it's Charlie 6 Headquarters, we're over. Detaining one, J1. Give me a hand. Responsor, just. Are you guys 10-4? Yeah, we're 10-4. County's out with us, he's securing the driver. We're 10 12 across the street with the passenger. He dropped a zero and tried to jump in another car. Yo, homeboy is off the hook, yo. Off the hook. His man that was driving, he got nothing to do with this, you know what I mean? He gonna be able to go home, but him right here, he messed himself up. Unrelated. Unrelated. Copy that, so you guys are 10-4, right? We're 10-4. If uh, someone can get with County, I think he's detaining the driver right now. You all right? Are you okay? <laughs> you okay? <laughs> well, you got tased. When you ran, when you ran from, and the gun fell out of your pants. What gun? You think J Rock talking? Hell no, dog. J Rock is my cousin. That man would never snitch. This one right here. <laughs> Everything he says is like a lie. It's terrible. Right on my camera, buddy. I felt it. You ran. It fell out of your pants. I ain't going front. I ain't, I ain't really see it. I got to go back to see exactly what happened. But if y'all saw it fall out of his pants, let me know in the comments. It'll be yours, but it's on you. It wasn't on me. Okay. You can figure that out later. That one my, my gun. That one my gun. I don't care if it was yours or not, it was in your pants. Figure that out. That one in my pants. Stop it. Get some help. Okay. <laughs> Yo, he said that was in his pants. Now that got me weak right now. That was not my gun. That was not my gun. First name. You was on the line right. <clears throat> You're holding it. Alright. Right now you're under arrest. You ran from the police. Um, before I ask you any questions about what happened, this isn't like an interview from Sergeant Scott about the mm -hmm. use of force. We're talking about the actual criminal actions of what, what's yeah. going on. All right, I'm gonna read you your rights. Um, and after that, if you decide to talk to me, we can talk. 
All right. Have you ever been read your rights before? No? You ever been arrested before? Mm-hmm. Okay. You have the right to remain silent. Do you understand that? Mm-hmm. Just give me a verbal yes or no. Yes, sir. Remember, when they first approached him, it was broad daylight. And that was nighttime. See how long they had him out there for? They about to get a lot of overtime today. Anything you say may be used against you in court. Do you understand? Yes. You have the right to talk to a lawyer before and during questioning. Do you understand yes, that? If you cannot afford a lawyer and want one, one will be provided to you before question before questioning without charge. Do you understand? You threw me off. Has anyone promised you or threatened you? The anyone threat- be over there. Threatened or promised you anything to get you to talk? Uh, Has anyone threatened you or promised you anything to get you to talk to? Okay. You can't handle the truth. Well, we'll talk about it. All right. Look like they're going to tell his man. Oh. The gun that fell out of your pants. It's on camera. My partner was searching you. The gun fell out. You ran. Okay. Let's talk about this. Why'd you run? I thought I had a warrant. You th- <laughs> thought you had a warrant. For what? For what's the name of for a grand theft? Okay, so the gun that's on camera coming out of your pants is not your gun. Man, I ain't had no gun coming out. You of didn't me. have a gun. <laughs> <laughs> cool. <laughs> the cell phone box in the car. He had a cell phone. No. I mean, he is answering it to his best ability, so he don't incriminate himself. But yo, it's funny though. I got a cell phone, but that ain't wrong. What kind of phone you got? I got an iPhone. iPhone. Okay. <laughs> Where's your phone at? Right there? Will you give us consent to look at the serial number for that phone? Uh, no. Yeah. We can match it up to the boxes in the car? Yes. That's not going to be your phone? No. Or your box? No. No? No. Okay, even if someone saw you with that box earlier? No. No? That's not mine. Okay, so the gun that fell out of your pants is not yours. And the box, the cell phone box is not the yours. cell phone box is not mine. No. Okay. Even if, even if it just had a bunch of money, you don't want that money. No. Okay. Where's your phone at? My phone's right there. You can check the cell number and all that. That's not mine. You said I can check the cell number? Yeah. That's good. You don't want to open it? Thank you. No, but. Okay. Wait, no. All right, is there anything you want to tell me about what happened today? All I know, y'all pulled this over. I thought I had a warrant. You pulled me out and took off running. You only ran because you had a warrant. That's the only reason why I thought I ran. That's okay. It. All right. The passenger was charged with carrying a concealed weapon and possession of cocaine as a convicted felon. He was sentenced to probation but violated the term soon after. He won't be teaching any of his crack tutorials anytime soon. Anyway, we've also added a bonus clip of him pleading with officers for a bond. Thanks for watching. Oh, oh, I'm just, I'm 375. You're a big boy. I just want to spread my leg, but I can't feel nothing in my legs. My partner said you manned up about the, about the coat. I'm just keep it real. All right, I appreciate it. That's all we, that's all we needed. Keep it real. Anything you think you keeping, they're about to use it against you. That's what they're gonna do. Just remember. Anything you say will be used against you, not for you or not to help you. Used against you. Anything. You only speak to a lawyer, all right? Always remember that. How's your other leg? You want to get all the way out? You good? Don't fall. Yo, how you come out the house looking like this, bitch? Mm. Just sit come back. Sit back. Come here, Brown. Come here, Brown. Come here, Brown. I love her. All I was asking is just, all I want is a bun. Tell me to get out, help you. That's all I'm asking. You. I help you. All right. What's going on, Coke? Yeah. Let me get a bun, let me get a body here. Might have to drop, might have to drop a dime on them niggas. We can make some moves. You know what that means, right? I can help you. He just want to get out of there. He's about to give somebody else up. He's about to put somebody else in his situation right now. See what I'm saying? Streets ain't safe. That's why they make the sidewalks. Yeah, that was crazy right there. So we already know they cut that short because he is about to talk. And that's on YouTube for the rest of his life. You understand what I mean? It will always be on YouTube. 
Unbelievable, unbelievable. Well, with that being said, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, and definitely hit the notification bell. Also, join the Patreon if you want to see some more exclusive, censor-free content. All right, see you in the next one. Love, y'all.